Hey Internet! So this week I've been playing Twisted Metal for the PlayStation 3. If you don't know, Twisted Metal is a franchise that's been around for a while. I think it originated on the PS1. Uh, and it had a PS2 launch or title somewhere around the PS2 time. But we haven't seen it since then. It was on the PSP. But uh, we haven't seen like an actual console release in years, like 10, 11 years or something like that. So does this game stand the test of time? Does it feel like a game that should have come out 11 years ago? Or does it do enough to bring new people to the franchise? Will it piss off the people who love the franchise? Well, here's my opinion. Twisted Metal. Twisted Metal is one of the oldest franchises on the PlayStation, and also one of the few that hasn't had a release on the PS3. Despite a very active fan base, it just seemed like they weren't going to make one. Thankfully, a couple of years ago, they teased that they were making a new Twisted Metal game, with, like, just a picture of an explosion. Of course, that was several years ago, and for a while, there was just no information. Nobody knew for sure if they were actually going to make one. But obviously, because I'm now reviewing the game, they actually made it. For those not initiated in the world of Twisted Metal, the game is pretty simple. You drive around in a ridiculous car, and shoot other cars and try and blow them up. There are a variety of different characters that you can play as, and uh, you drive around and you pick up little weapon bonuses and then you use them to shoot the people. And with this new version of Twisted Metal, that's exactly what you do. They didn't add any hyper-realistic driving physics or an RPG system where you level up your character or anything like that. They stuck to the formula of driving around and blowing up other cars. And while they added a few features, some new vehicles, maybe a couple of different weapon types, and you can use a helicopter, and there's like a first-person helicopter shooting bit, essentially it's kind of the same game. The game has a couple of different gameplay modes besides just blowing up everybody, but essentially the gameplay modes involve, you know, creative ways of blowing up everybody or blowing up specific people. The story of the game takes place through these live-action cutscenes in between the matches, and it feels very much like a low-budget 90s horror film, which completely fits the style that the game is trying to convey. They're ridiculous and over-the-top, and so's the gameplay, so it all fits. Although fans of the series might be a little disappointed because there's only, like, cutscene and story stuff for three of the characters and not all of them. While there's a lot of content in the single player with the you know, challenges and all that stuff, the multiplayer is where this game really wants to shine. At least I assume that's what it is, because this is a first-party Sony game, so there's an online pass, meaning that people who rent video games like myself can't play it online. But I wasn't gonna let some silly online pass stop me from experiencing some awesome multiplayer vehicular manslaughter. Twisted Metal is a game all about driving around and blowing stuff up and being really awesome and listening to, you know, 90s butt rock and all that good stuff. But as a game, I wasn't really a big fan of it. I might have enjoyed it a little bit more if I could play against people and stuff, but playing it against bots just is frustrating because they all gang up on me and it's even on its lowest difficulty, it's still really hard to play for me because I'm terrible at video games. If you're one of these people that has been waiting for this game for 10 years or whatever, and you love the original Twisted Metal games, you're gonna love this game because it's Twisted Metal. It's everything you expect. It adds a, a few new features. It feels like the, they just made this game and forgot to release it for a couple years. But that's not exactly a bad thing, because it does what it does. It does exactly what it is. It knows what it wants to be, and it does everything that it wants. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of it. Uh, you know, I can see myself having fun with a bunch of friends, but should play by myself, not my type of game, but hey, maybe it's your type of game and maybe you should check it out.